I'm trying to create drama here. <laughs> Welcome, Magnus NC. Chip and dip. Chip and dip. Perfect combo. Yeah. No surprise here. Oh, he's going Enderman right out of the break. Okay. So Leo Lee's not messing around. Jumping right to Enderman. Germ probably, going I think with he's probably one of the best best thieves in Virginia, he is. right? Yes. Oh yes. And then we've got Toast going with Pokemon Trainer. Chat, correct me if I'm wrong there. And C stream with Young Link. Or Toast might be Young Link. Please correct me, chat. Again, I'm still I this is only my second time doing it here. Toast is Young Link. Alright, thank you, Pyrex. Appreciate it. This is a good team here, at least in terms of characters, with the ability to switch between three different Pokemon and then the projectile zoning from Young Link. That's definitely going to be a problem. Yeah, the low sweep to the forward air. That, as I say it, able to get Germ there. How did Germ end up on the other side of the stage? <laughs> Dropped the bowling ball. I didn't even see Toast get a hit off. Nice. But there you go. Germs down one stock. 6-5 advantage for Toast and C-Stream. Tries to go for the grab. Spot dodge. Well played. Wow. Steve that was something out. That was a quick turn, my goodness. Hitting with the minecart and then moving C-Stream into the danger zone. Yeah, Toast using up using his up B to great effect there. I'm also appreciating the fact that Toast is not spamming the B button. <laughs> yeah. I appreciate a main young Link that doesn't spam that button because that means they're using so like that. An excellent he, arrow combo he into he the up B. The papa, okay, that that was pretty cool. That was epic, and he's got another one almost with the forward air. Leah Lee and Germ. Uh, they're getting a little surprised here. But this is a good this is a good team chemistry between the two characters. Toast and Seastream really working well together, taking the matchups, and now they've got a 4-2 stock lead. And the music really adds to the epicness here. My goodness. Yes, height music equals height match. Ooh. And Germ with Villager just doesn't really have any good options to try and get a kill shot right here. Yeah. Seastream has done a lot of the damage with Charizard. Hasn't really used a lot of Ivy Swords. Mainly been Squirtle and Charizard. Yeah. Excellent. Short hop, forward air, into the down smash, front toast. Do not count Leo Lee out. He has seen some incredible odds in his career here at Game On Gaming Center. And is the best Steve in the building. This isn't over. <laughs> just, just so jump. many taunts. Just jump, jump, jump. Just jump. sitting there. I, mean, I, I don't know. Leo Lee might be feeling a little John's from C stream over here. John, come on. Remember, Steve does have a... Uh... Oh, what a combo! Up special into the flare dash, the flaming dash from Charizard. <laughs> uh. Yes, Jerem, we're all a little stunned that that just happened. Chat, clip that, please. If you'd be so kind. So, Toast and C-Stream take a one-game lead over German Leo Lee. Thank you, Jay High. We are also LMAOing. <laughs> Internally, that is. Internally. If you're posting about this tournament on social media, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, you name it, be sure to use the hashtag StickDriftSova. Also, hi, Natro. Hi. Hello there. That's my favorite. I love saying that. Hello there. Dubois Gaming 
Yes, thank you for that bracket command. You can check out the progress on smash.gg slash stickdrift. Uh, doesn't stickdrift have fantasy? Yes. Fantasy. I was like, because I saw that last night, and I was like, fantasy? Quite weird. So, like, you can win prizes based on how well your, your fantasy team does. Exactly. I might have to... Do a little I'm research. I might have to do a little research. Just get in there. I might have to. <laughs> no Enderman this time for Leo Lee. Same combination as we go into game two in this best of three in the doubles pool. Same characters all the way across. Small battlefield. Let us begin. Also, shout out to LJ Skate Girl, who put together this impressive graphics package for today's tournament. I like it. It's clean, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I was telling her. And she was telling me before the broadcast even started, she created a pretty impressive transition that hopefully we'll see here through Adobe After Effects, which I'm super jealous of. Oh no, might have just, uh oh, I was gonna say. c Street might have accidentally saved Toast there. But then Germ was able to get him with the bowling ball and the slingshot to take a 3-2 shot lead. Germ and Leo Lee working better as a team this game. And now you can see there on the left side of your screen, Toast now switching over to the right, targeting Villager, trying to take advantage of closing the gap using his arrows and his boomerang. Because a lot of times, Germ will just space with the slingshot. Toast trying to start that combo, gets that forward air off. Villager a little too light there. At I think he's definitely, he's, he's definitely put on the pressure. He's a great pressure yeah, character. A great pressure character. Steve gets taken out by C Stream. The short hop forward air. That, that is a tried and true method of getting a kill off at 100%. Being able to DI it too. Very big. Yes, Pyrex, this stream layout is sick. C Stream tried to get that. Cheeky down spike off the edge guard. That wasn't going to work at that percentage, but I can appreciate the effort. So right now it's a 4-3 stock lead for Team G Germ Leo Lee. And Toast is one bad mistake away from making it a 4-2 deficit for his team. Germ almost gets it there, but a good combo from C-Stream with Ivysaur. Steve able to get it back against Toast. I don't know what got the kill there on Germ from Toast. It was good enough. Oh, and there goes Leo Lee. It's the Diamond Sword. The Diamond Sword is in play. Good catch. C really got to watch out for those Ivysaur nares. Mm -hmm. It's a great combo starter at any percentage. But there is the Diamond Pickaxe. And now Toast on an island against some of the hardest people in the zone. And dropping the ball is Germ to tie it up in a game of peace. And there's that sick animation to tie it up. Oh, well, perfect timing. He's gone from the Monster Energy to the Coke Coca Cola. Coca Cola. Hold on, I'm gonna go to the bathroom right Yeah, I got you covered, Naruto. Crushed it, man. You've earned it. All right, Chad, I'm going to offer up this question. I'd love to hear your take. 
What makes doubles more hype than singles go? You can hear Will in the background. Hello there. What's your name, man? Kevin? Oh, good to meet you, man. I'm Chip. All right, we'll get Naruto back here in a second, but this is the winner take all. Game three between Jerem Leo Lee and Toast C Stream. Steve sticking, I was gonna say, Steve sticking with Leo Lee. Uh, it's Leo Lee sticking with Steve. Everyone's the same character here. Uh, C Stream starting off with Ivysaur. No, no Squirtle in this match. Maybe noticing the combos are better against these characters. That's the advantage of Pokemon Trainer. You have three different characters that you can choose from. And all are effective at certain percentages. I I'm so bad at Pokemon Trainer. That smash sending Jer Steve, I'm sorry. And Leo Lee off the stage. We're even at five stocks apiece. All right, interesting matchup in play between Ivysaur and Steve. They've been at each other these last two games, and now they switch. It's just so much chaos and doubles that makes it prime for hype. But the best doubles are the ones who can team up and just switch at any time, and that's what you're seeing right here. I have not seen C-Stream or Toast leave their respective sides. With Toast being on the left, getting the up special on Leo Lee. And C-Stream just hanging on to the right side. And you're seeing it play out here. 5-2 stock lead. They are feeling it here in Smashville, which seems to benefit that team. Leo Lee gets the stock back. 4-2 advantage for Toast and C-Stream. Winner of this goes into the semifinals. A lot of ground to make up. Not out of the picture, but there's a lot that needs to be done as C Stream tries to get the the fire dash. And I already know chat is probably thinking this commentator doesn't know the moves. I'm working on it. I know the directions of the specials and the aerials, the neutrals. It's the names that escape me. Naruto is back. Naruto, I'll fill you in. Sea Stream and Toast have been at the wheel in this game. Sea Stream and Toast. So I think they dropped they dropped the game last time. Yes. The last, last game. They did. And the down smash uh, from okay. Toast moves them on to the winner's semis. I need to go play friendly. <laughs> I really do. Yes. I forgot to warm up before this. Are you playing? Yeah. Oh, when, when are you playing?